Stand back, Mario, it's Luigi's time to shine. A whole game based around Luigi. Well, actually, it's a DLC of New Super Mario Bros. U, but nonetheless, it's a Luigi game. All new levels, controls, and even characters. This is the year of Luigi, and I'm giving the Shadowed Brother the respect that he deserves. I'm the Gaming Albino, and this is the top 10 hardest Super Luigi U levels. Sumo Bro Bridge in Soda Jungle World. When I first played this level, my first thought was, oh shit, those guys. It was difficult enough jumping on the swaying platforms without these guys stomping everywhere. You jump across moving platforms and you run the risk of being shocked and falling to your death. Or being shocked when the electricity flows through the platform you're standing on. At least the level rewards you with a free random power up halfway through the level. On this part, the sumo bro is moving left and right, while the platforms you stand on sink into the water below. You have to have quick reactions to make it past this part without getting hit. Dancing Blocks, Poison Swamp I don't have to play any more of the video to explain why this is a difficult level. Well, these groups of blocks will disappear into the poisonous water below for a short amount of time. If you're impatient, you're screwed. It's hard because it takes Luigi longer to slow down, and you don't have a lot of space to slow down on these tiny spaced out blocks. But in this level we praise the mighty Super Acorn as it makes this a hell of a lot easier. We thank you, almighty Acorn. Even with the acorn, you're in danger. I myself mistakenly flew into a paratrooper and fell to my unseen demise. Just quickly get past this awful section and you reach the flagpole. Current event in Peach's Castle. The lava level is rising, so you have to move quickly. So you control the movement of this platform while dodging electric bolts. The second half gets tougher, not only dodging electricity, but avoiding parachuting bombs. And not only do they blow up, but if they land on your platform, they will weigh you down and slowly plummet you down into the lava below. Giants swing along in the Soda Jungle World. This one isn't very high on the list because as soon as you start the level, you can get an easy one up. Unless you're me. As the name of the level implies, you're going to be swinging a lot of these vines throughout the level. Jump too high and you'll hit a piranha plant. Jump too low and you'll instantly die in the poisonous water. It might seem like an easy level, but just one screw up and you're dead. Just wait for the piranha plants to recede back into their pipes and it's a piece of cake. Sumo Bros Spinning Tower in the Rock Candy Mines world. Yay, more of these guys. Not only do you have to avoid these guys' attacks, we also have to do so while dodging spiraling fireballs on a screw-powered elevator the entire way up. Once you finally get to the top, you're thinking, Oh yeah, there's a boss I have to beat too. But at least it's just a normal sumo bro. Well, shit. This guy is always jumping from one side to the other. Like, it's not hard to hit him when he's on one of the sides, but it's a pain when he's in the middle because half the time I can't jump perfectly on the music blocks. Boo's favorite haunt in the Soda Jungle World. Yep, you all knew a ghost house would be somewhere on this list. Boo's flying everywhere, limited visibility. This is a very tough level. You have to carefully make it past circling ghosts as you jump on small, tilting, shifting, rotating blocks. The squirrel suit can make getting past these ghosts a breeze. In one section, the ghosts are just scattered, moving everywhere. But that's not it. A little further, all the ghosts are circling, but now they close in on you. It's very hard not to lose a life when you're surrounded on a tiny moving space. Magma River Cruise in Peach's Castle. The entire time you're riding this boat over a boiling lake of lava. And to keep this boat from moving, you can't let more than five people on at a time. For some reason, Luigi doesn't make the counter go down. But these little assholes do. That's Mario logic for ya. Magma creatures can be found throughout the level poking their heads out of lava until they find the perfect moment to strike. To stay alive, you gotta be looking everywhere. Goombas falling from the sky, magma creatures coming at you left and right, and if your ride becomes too heavy, a cloud of death lurks from behind. And just to add some salt to the wound, there's a couple fire bros near the end of the level.
Icicle Tower in the Frosted Glacier World. Starting the level, you can already see what the problem is going to be, and that is obviously the falling icicles. You ride up an elevator and watch as the bony beetles are crushed to death. Or you can get up through the secret wall jump area. Take an elevator up and you can easily avoid any hazards. But just up ahead is another elevator that is just maddening. You have to run from one side of the platform to the other as the icicles fall from the moving elevator. This is definitely the hardest point of the level. I died here so many times. Even if you avoid the icicles in this small section, you run the risk of falling off and landing on the spike floor below. You'll have no problems getting past the rest until you enter the boss door. This isn't a hard boss. The only thing difficult is to dodge the Boom Boom's attacks while you're slipping all over the place. Ludwig's Block Press Castle. That scary face right there should already tell you how hard this is going to be. So basically, this level consists of a giant moving block that will keep disappearing out of sight. And during that time, you must run quickly as possible dodging fireballs, jumping over gaps, just to find a safe spot. Oh, and what happens if you don't find a safe spot? Yep, you get crushed. As tough as that is, it's not the hardest part of the level. It's the boss battle with Ludwig. Like something out of a horror movie, this guy hovers above you and splits into three different versions of himself. One real, the other two fake. And then, holy shit, they all fire their scepters at you, crash down on the ground, and start jumping all over the place like meth addicts. And it's just sheer luck if you can guess which one is the real one. That is, unless you know the real one fires three magic bullets instead of two. I, however, never knew that the first time I played. And the most hardest Super Luigi U level is Deep Sea Stone Eyes. This level is terrifying. It's an underwater level filled with fish bones and moving stone heads. And their eyes, their eyes just keep watching you. There should have been a sign next to the entrance pipe that said hell. In fact, I think I remember seeing that. Yep, yeah, yeah I did. The moving statues in this game will constantly be trapping you in areas and crushing you to death. And it's impossible to move quickly underwater. So if the statues don't get you, the fish will. It's really hard to maneuver around the fish, it's such a closed in area. Let's take a look at how many times I died. Outstanding. After dying that many times, I wish I knew about the secret ending near the start of the level. That was my list of the hardest levels in Super Luigi U. I hope you enjoyed. If you really enjoyed the video, make sure to share and like. And click the annotations to my other top 10 videos. Make sure to subscribe. I'm always making something new.